Hello, this is Jack. This is NeoSpin 4, and I spent something I've been wanting to do, which is run entirely on supercaps, um, as indicated by lid motor. But I have um, supercaps which are um, the same for the source, uh, 24 farad 5 volts, as the charge side, 24 farads 5 volts. And we have uh, the Apollo astronauts there. Um, uh, looking on Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and Neil Armstrong watching the activity. We've got the uh, coil on the left, which is the drive coil. That's a entire spool of 30 gauge magnet wire. And on the right, we have coil 2, and in, along with the uh, Hall sensor. So it, it's zipping along there pretty good. And here I can show you we have uh, this thing is. Um, several ball magnets uh, pardon me uh, Michael um, and just to show you how big they are they are um, it's a one inch ball and I've got two three quarter inch balls as uh, outliers and um, that rips up pretty good and the interesting thing is in a couple of hours time we have the super cap charge battery going up to 2.26 volts which is starting at considerably 5 that's better than 40 percent uh, energy recapture from the source batteries uh, and, and spinning the motor as well so here's the circuit You see, it's pretty much lid motor circuit, except that I've added another coil in series, which is what John Bedini talks about, um, a Tesla shuttle type circuit, where you have more than one coil in series, and then you have a bridge rectifier, one across the first coil, and one across the second coil. And I've fed the outputs to both bridge rectifiers and both nodes uh, to the um, you know, to the super cap on the output side. So it's interesting. You might be able to have uh, string even more um, nodes, and uh, it's called the sh Tesla shuttle technology. Okay, um, this is Jack, and uh, thanks again to Lid Motor. It's been very interesting. Thank you.